Now let's add a bony texture to some parts of the body. So what we've got now is basically the skin, right? So let's go ahead and clean this up a bit. Let's take this bottom layer, which isn't really doing anything. We'll go ahead and delete that. We can go ahead and name these if we want to. We could call this curve. Uh, this one is going to be the, uh, I believe the scales. And then here we've got the bump and some color. And then what we can do is take all of these and I'll just shift select those and let's right click and say group layers. You can also hit control G and we'll create a group, which is a folder up at the top, which we can close. I'll go ahead and click on this and we'll call this skin face. All right. So now we can start to keep everything a little bit more organized. Now we want to add sort of a bony texture and we could create another set of layers like this, or we can simply add a material or smart material. And so let's go into the existing smart materials that we have in painter. And I'm going to come up to this bone stylized and I'm just going to drop it at the top. So now you can see we have two folders, the skin base and the bone stylized. Now the bone stylized right now is taking over the whole body, which in this case isn't what we want. And so let's start by creating a mask and we want to not only mask out UV pieces, but we'll eventually go ahead and paint out a mask on the body itself. And so let's start by just adding a black mask. All right. And I'm only going to add this to the parts of the body that need to have uh, any sort of bony kind of texture. Now with this body, it's different because everything is sort of combined together. Uh, the claws are actually part of this mesh, as you can see. And so what we can do is use this texture, not only for these bits up here, but also for the claws as a base. And so I'm going to go ahead and click this one and the UVs down here for the claws, which it's nice that they're separated out into their own shells, the toes as well. Let's do the other side here. Just clicking on those shells, the shoulder, and then also the back here where these wings have been uh, filed down. All right, so that gives us the bony kind of material that we have here on each of these shells. But we also want to come in and only show the bony part on this uh, top part. And so we can now come in and continue to modify this mask. But what we need to do is modify it with paint that we want to create. We can go ahead and just switch to our paint tool. And with black selected, I want to now go back in and kind of unmask certain areas. And you can see we have bump involved here too, which is giving us a very specific kind of look as we erase some of these details here. So I'll come in and kind of erase up to here. We can get a brush size that is a little bit smaller to kind of get into some of these areas. Maybe something like that to kind of get up in there. We can also grab a different kind of brush if we want to kind of break things up a little bit. So if we go to our brushes, we can get something that is a little bit chunkier, maybe one of these uh, dirt type brushes, take the size down a little bit and you can see the effect of that. It makes it so it's not quite an even line there as we mask out these different areas. Okay. So something like that. And back across the back here as well. I'm just going to try to blend that a little bit more. Okay. Let's come in the, on this side as well. We'll do the same thing. We're just masking out that bony texture from affecting the areas of the shoulder that we don't want it to mask. If you need to, you can move your light around. So I'm going to shift and right click to move the light so we can see things a little bit better. Just rotating that environment around there and the lighting along with it. Let's go back to our soft brush here just to kind of get this quickly in. All right. Get to take the size down a little bit like that. Kind of get in there a little bit more. And then we can go back in and kind of break things up like we did on the other side. Now I still don't like the sharpness of the edge there. 
Same thing with this. And so what we can do is actually blur the effect. And so let's add a filter and we're adding it to the mask, not to the, uh, the bone itself. And so let's choose a blur and then we can, let's come and look at it on the side. We can dial this blur intensity up a little bit. So it sort of fades that into the surface a little bit more. And you can see that on, on that side as well, looks uh, a lot better. All right. This one is mostly bone there. And so the only thing that I might want to do is add a little bit more roughness where this has been filed off. And we could do that with, for instance, another layer. We could go into our folder here or on this dirt. And you can see if you open up the folder, you can see all of the layers that make up this bone uh, material. And so we could add a new paint layer. And let's go ahead on this layer and I'm going to choose to paint. Let's choose a sort of dots brush here uh, with a low size amount. Okay. And then I'm going to choose to paint on the height. So let's come down here and turn off color. And I'm going to choose to make these uh, into slightly lower bits here. And so I'm just going to come in here and make this look like the inside of that where it's been filed down and cut off. I'll do the same thing on this side. Just on the in inner part there. Let's go ahead and get a slightly lower height and just right in the middle, make those a little bit deeper. So something like that. All right, so now we've added a bone uh, smart material. We've masked it off from the different pieces. And then we've also gone in and painted masks and used a filter to kind of soften that effect to add the bony texture material uh, to the parts of the body. So the next thing that we want to do is let's work on this jumpsuit. It's a pretty big part of the body. And so we need to have a, a much different look than we have with the flesh. We wanted to have the sort of a fabric kind of a look to it. We also want a repeating pattern on it. And so we'll look at how we can create that kind of effect in the next lesson.